Hello everyone, CapM here, and in this video I want to get into Bloom Energy and the huge strategy it revealed today to enter the commercial hydrogen market. Also, if you'd like three free stocks and access to our private Discord chat, check the links in the description below. So guys, getting into it, Bloom Energy is a company that manufactures and markets solid oxide fuel cells that produce electricity on site. And today, the leader in fuel cell solutions revealed its aspirations to go beyond its core business and enter the commercial hydrogen market. They partnered with SK Engineering and Construction and Bloom Energy aims to produce hydrogen-powered fuel cells and electrolyzers that produce renewable hydrogen in South Korea. Before the year ends, Bloom Energy expects to deliver a 100 kilowatt pilot server to SK Energy and Construction, which the company will then use to power one of its facilities beginning in 2021. And later on in 2022, both companies expect to install a 1 megawatt hydrogen server during that year. Now, Bloom Energy's founder said that this expansion of our product offering enables zero carbon electricity and transportation solutions. He states that innovation and execution are fundamental tenets of their business and they're excited about the opportunity to advance the hydrogen economy with their long-term partner SK Engineering and Construction. Now South Korea has demonstrated a huge commitment to the incorporation of hydrogen into its energy landscape. We see that South Korea aims to generate around 15 gigawatts of power from fuel cells by 2040 based on its hydrogen economy roadmap that was revealed in January 2019. Now Bloom Energy has built a lucrative relationship relationship with their South Korean partners over the last three years. And during this period, the company has generated around $1 billion in equipment and future services revenue. Bloom Energy, in my opinion, guys, can be breaking into the South Korean hydrogen market. And who knows, maybe later on, when they are more successful, they can build and invest in different landscapes that want to produce more hydrogen energy, such as the US and maybe even China. Another interesting thing to note, guys, is they can potentially be laying the foundation for hydrogen cars, such as the trucks that Nikola is making and Helion. So that's something to look at as well. I think this can also benefit the electric vehicle and hydrogen vehicle market as well. It'd be pretty lucrative if they were successful, and you guys should realize that the stock can be very volatile, and you should always mitigate your risk. Now let's get into the stock chart. Now looking at the chart of Bloom Energy, guys, we see that we had a nice cross over these moving averages, and found support around the 20 and 50 exponential moving average. Currently, we are trending higher and we did break out around 37% today. And guys, looking at this level on the chart of Bloom Energy, we see that it was a huge rejection level over here before we capitulated in 2019 and before the February capitulation with the stock market crash. Now, personally looking at Bloom Energy's chart, I am more bullish right now because we're breaking into this region. And let's get into the weekly chart to show you a clearer picture. And guys, looking at the weekly chart right now, we see that over here, we did find a nice 20 and 50 exponential moving average support. And we could have gone in around this week, which signified to us a lot of bullish volume and a strong bullish move. And we would have been up a decent amount already. But currently, I still think it can offer nice promise to investors based off the fact that they are expanding in South Korea. And the price action is showing us that if we do have a bullish close this week on the chart of Bloom Energy, I think we can retest to the top of this region, which can net around a 25% gain in the near future. Now, one thing I want to see is that, again, we have to bullishly close above this region. That would signify more strength in the trend. We see the volume confluences have been up over the last few weeks. And what I want to see is a nice breakout over the next week up into this region. Or if we consolidate in this region for a while and trace back into this level, we can have a nice pop as well. And if I wanted to take a bit more of a conservative trade on this stock, I can wait for a pullback into the lower levels of this region and maybe take a trade of around 5-6% to of my portfolio before retesting to the high of this range and having a 30% gain. And guys, I want to show you, right? This was the previous level where we had the capitulation over here of around 30%, trended back into this region, got rejected by the 20 exponential moving average, and and this region again another rejection by the 20 exponential moving average and we capitulated really far so clearly this is a huge level of resistance because even during february we did trend into this area and got heavily rejected now if we do break and close above this level that is going to be very bullish in my opinion and i do think we can retest on top of this region heading into the next week or two and there is more potential for more upside if we do break and close above this 24 dollar region because this level over here around the 30 dollar mark was the huge capitulation level as well so that's something to look at long term on the chart of bloom energy corporation so overall guys if you found this video helpful please like and subscribe it really helps out the channel a lot with the algorithm thank you guys for watching and have a great one